hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of madi today we'll be designing a gold and green party flyer so let's start so i'll be dropping the psd file plus the tutorial plus the psd file itself plus the um, psd files and the psd itself rather i'll be dropping it in the link below just stay tuned and learn so first we'll start by dragging in this image like this you place it i had made everything very easy for you to just put and place so i'll be explaining how i did all this so you come to your filter here blow your gaussian blow radius at 12.5 click ok so what you can do next is drag in your lady image i would already done all the hard parts in the image so i've dropped the psd file for you to use so I had already blowed out the edges. You know how you blow out edges now. You, if you want to blow out the edges, you click um, this uh, layer mask here. Then come to your gradient tool here. Like I've done in my other videos, you drag like this. You see, you drag like this. So that was how I got this design, this um, uh, this image here so and also i had worked on this image i had added life to it and also you can make, make it very bright so that's why i'm dropping the psd file so the, the video will be very very short so let's continue <coughs> so you drag in your confetti you drag this behind the lady image the confetti and lady image so what you want to do next is drag in this glow overlay and lady image also you can change the blend mode to linear dodge add yeah, that, that had life to the image now on your keyboard that is behind the lady image press T on your keyboard sorry yeah T on your keyboard you write beach cap lock on B E A C H beach. Let's increase the size to around let's see 154. 154. Reduce the okay, it's too much. I think this is okay. Come to your move to drag this. So what we want to do next is add little arc come to this t transform here arc please start 10 10 then it's very okay so you can reduce it to let's see this this um space in between so let's see around 22 oh sorry minus minus 22 make it uh, come closer so you can actually drag this like this and drag it now you come to your blended options you make bevel and numbers make it in a in a bevel technique smooth depth 303 okay coming three three um the direction up the size is 250 and then soften angle is 90 altitude is 53 gloss contour highlight mode vivid light opacity 64 um, shadow mode vivid light opacity 44 now you come to your satin satin is overly color white opacity 9 angle 19 distance 11 size 71 gloss contour that now you come to your gradient overlay which is the uh, the golden feel that i want to have so you come you just let me show you how it's done so at location zero you use this color eight eight five seven two four at location zero so now come to the second place location 25 you use d nine nine six two d location 53 
you use FFCA 49 location 77 you use D9962 D then location 100 you use 885724 click click OK then add drop shadow also to your image drop shadow to it to blend mode multiply opacity 73 angle 90 distance 18 spread 0 size 27 the usual you click OK so we already have this so let's drag in our overlay also on the text to make it look more bright oh sorry i'm coming okay more bright come here okay let's let's create let's do another thing here let's create a shape so what we're going to do next is draw a shape so you come to your shape to here whichever one you want to draw you can be circle you can be anyone so i'll be choosing my rectangle here the edges are not very sharp they are very very slim edges so you can make it like this the few few to be null then your sorry then your stroke should be let's put white just to make it visible keep very visible now come to your rectangle here now fx here sorry go to your blending options in your fx click on stroke so you'll be using this size 6 position inside blend mode screen or past 70 because i'd already used this before that's why it's coming up automatically so you, you come to your drop shadow also should we add outer glow to here let's let's add outer glow to it too screen opacity 26 noise zero then for the color we have fe fe 43 for the color then drop shadow we adding two drop shadows with different colors so opacity 69 distance 3 spread 34 size 5 i'm doing it as fast as possible because i i already given you the ps the free psd file so you come to your second drop shadow you click on it blend mode normal color ff 7 800 click ok um opacity 75 angle 120 distance 0 spread 0 size 36 contour noise 0 you click ok so you can decide to put any sorry anything you want to put here so let's place this like this let's place yeah right at the center here so what we're going to do next is drag in our confetti overlay drag this in like this come to your photoshop drag this in so it's behind the lady image as you can see here you can tap to put it anywhere so let's make this a little bit fun drag this like this put it here you can put it behind the text let's take it up a little bit a little bit change the blend mode to linear dodge add as usual so you can drag this like this to have this kind of fire flare kind of feeling so control g on your keyboard drag this up you can place it here also you can tilt it on your keyboard control t on your keyboard you can tilt it like this so make it blend click ok so um let's drag in our last file which is the leaf drag in the leaf place this anywhere you want you know ctrl g on your keyboard ctrl t on your keyboard um, right click flip horizontal drag this voila you are done so you can decide to add anything you want to add there so that's how I got this design. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.